Vividly toned 1965 Kennedy half dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, this is the second year of issue for the Kennedy half dollar series. This year the Mint changed the composition of Circulation Strike Kennedy half dollars. From 1965 to 1970 Circulation Strike Kennedy halves were produced from 40% silver and 60% copper nickel. In 1965, the Mint also introduced special Mint sets which contained coins that were struck with a different finish than that of uncirculated and proof coins. The special mint sets were only sold to collectors and were produced from 1965 to 1967. PCGS reports 41 specimens in MS67 grade with none numerically finer. It was sold for $2,100. Number 6. 1961 Franklin Half Dollar with Double Die Reverse. Graded as PR64 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a near-gem specimen of the classic Naked Eye Franklin half-dollar double die, an error rendered all the more embarrassing by its existence on a proof coin. Both sides are minimally toned with a faint suggestion of contrast. It was sold for $2,820. Number 5. 1968 D. Kennedy half-dollar with peripheral rainbow toning on both sides. A marvelous specimen in superb gem condition. Graded as MS67 Plus by PCGS. Vivid two-sided toning paints this high-end superb gem in concentric crimson, pine green, violet, gold, and russet hues. The strike is sharp, and I appeal is stunning. Pristine beneath the patina. It was sold for $4,920. Number 4. 1949 Franklin Half Dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. This is a beautifully preserved superb gem example of the 1949 Franklin half, showing a full strike and undisturbed, satiny mint luster. Freckled olive gold and blue-gray toning characterizes each side, providing ample eye appeal and blatant originality. The quality stands out even beneath a loop. It was sold for $6,900. Number 3. 1953 Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. 1953 Franklin half dollar claims a small business strike mintage of 2.6 million pieces. Unfortunately, the issue was not well produced and the typical example seen has a weak strike, insipid mint luster, and unattractive toning. Accordingly, the 1953 issue is extremely rare at the MS67 grade level, and the coin shown here is the only superb gem certified by PCGS with the full bell lines designation. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 2. 1921 D. Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 64 Plus by PCGS. The 1921 D. boasts the lowest mintage in the Walking Liberty Half Dollar series at only 208,000 coins. It is scarcer than the Philadelphia issue of this year but not quite as elusive as the San Francisco product. Examples are occasionally seen in MS64 but seldom finer. CAC recognizes the outstanding quality for the grade, with outstanding eye appeal. The strike is sharp in the centers, and each side displays ivory white luster and satiny texture. No obtrusive abrasions are seen. It was sold for $24,120. Number 1. This is 1964 Kennedy half dollar in PR69 deep cameo condition. Highly elusive accented hair variety. The cherry picker's reference states, the accented hair variety is identifiable by the enhanced hairlines in the central area of the hair, just below the part. However, the easiest way to identify the variety is the weak or broken lower left serif of the eye, in Liberty. This variety comprises a minority of the proof 1964 Kennedy half dollar population, although it is not universally scarce, as many examples are certified. The rarest examples are those in the deep cameo category, and these coins are conditionally rare and high grade. This specimen fetched a sum of $30,001.20 at auction. That's all, folks. If you'd like to delve deeper into the world of US coins, feel free to explore our other videos available on our YouTube main page. We appreciate your support, and we look forward to seeing you again in our future content. God's will, see you in the next episode.